As domestic violence rates continue to be high in Alberta, women's shelters are seeing more people needing help, in part due to a population growth, the pandemic and inflationary pressures. We are seeing a whole range of um, you know, need that is out there and shelters are working to respond to specific populations and meet the needs that the best they can. But according to the Alberta Council of Women's Shelters, majority of providers say funding was their biggest challenge when providing programming last year. And nearly 20,000 people were unable to be sheltered due to the lack of shelter space. Tuesday afternoon, the Alberta government announcing an additional $10 million to support women's shelters and fund more bed spaces. These funds will be used to improve the sector, make it so that uh, women can feel safe and ensure that women's shelters can continue to do the amazing work that they do around the province. The Alberta government says $5 million will immediately go to shelters in 17 communities across the province and the remaining $5 million will be dispersed over the next three years. It's been 10 years since women's shelters had any kind of an increase. While Reimer is happy to see funding, she says much more needs to be done. It comes as shelters are seeing more diversity in those needing help. With more than 2,000 newcomers staying in shelters in the province last year, agencies needing to rely on translation services to best serve everyone. We diversify, we, there's uh, different languages that we speak already, but of course we don't speak all the languages. If you or anyone you know are dealing with domestic violence, there are supports. At the bottom of your screen, you'll find the website for the Alberta Women's Shelters and a province-wide family violence info line. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.